Hello and welcome back to another one of my Minecraft tutorials. This one is how to make a monostable circuit, suggested by SuperMomoX9. Links to his channel in the description below. And he asked me to make a monostable circuit and the pulse limiter, but I'll do the pulse limiter in a different video. For now, it's going to be the monostable circuit, because there's quite a bit of different things you can do with it. I don't want to make this video too long. So basically, it's an RS NOR latch uh, hooked up to automatically reset, and you can add in the reset timers to decide how long or uh, short this can happen. So normally when you hit a button, it would send about enough power to keep that door open for a second and it would, you would struggle to get through it in some cases. But here with the monostable circuit, you can add more delay to keep that door open longer before it closes. So it just depends on how many uh, timers you have, or sorry, repeaters set to different delays. So let's build it. And before I build it, uh, white, blo white wool blocks are uh, redstone dependent blocks and blue blocks are doesn't matter what they are, they can be any block you want, except for, I think, glass or glowstone. Alright, so we're going to start off by building the RS NOR latch. And this is what it looks like. And when you have inputs on, let's put inputs on two, both sides. So when I hit this button, it will forever reset, and it's like a memory cell, it remembers things. So you can have this set to if someone enters or leaves a building. I don't know, there's so many different uh, applications for this. But what we're doing right now is a monostable circuit. Um, so now we're going to have to add the reset. And it's pretty simple. It just has power going from one side into the other. And right now, this isn't long enough, so let's add, say, a repeater. So now it automatically resets. And now let's have something for it to activate, say, a piston. So right now it's out, and it comes in, and then back in. Let's say we want that block to stay out longer. Then we're going to add more delay. So the monostable, the RS no latch remembers, and it's turned on for a longer amount of time before it's then switched off again by the reset. So you're going to have this out for longer and then pulled back in. So the more delay you have, the longer um, the output will be. Let's add a ton of delay to this. And you can add delay by right-clicking on the repeater, if you didn't know that. Alright, so now we have quite a bit of delay on it, and now the block would stay out longer before being pulled back in. There's so many different applications to this. Like I said earlier, I used it for a door, but I've used this in many other cases for spiral piston doors, where I want the door to stay open and then close without me having to reset it, which in some cases you couldn't be able to do that with a lever, because you'd have to go back and turn it off. Or, if you use the pulse limiter, which is a different video, you can do that same thing. So, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and I will see you guys next time. If you made it this far, I would like to thank you for watching my tutorial video. I ask that you do not forget to leave this video with a rating and maybe a comment or suggestion. Also, you can share this video wherever you want, as well as sending it to all your friends who might find this video helpful. I'm also okay with you leaving your own video responses. If you want to know how to craft any item you found in this video, click on the first link in the description. If you want to like to download this tutorial map, the second link is to my rabbit chair where you can download and play it. Finally, if you would like to stay more in contact with my content, you can follow me here on YouTube, Twitter, Reddit, and the Minecraft forums. I hope you have a nice day, and I will see you next time.